Hi everybody, I'm here with a quick haul uh, that I was enabled by Kimbo Creations uh, to run out to Tuesday morning because she spoke the name of my uh, favorite guy, Tim Holtz. So you have to excuse the mess, I was literally in the middle of creating a pocket letter when I stopped to run out. Um, she had said that they got some new stuff in Tuesday mornings, and it was Tim Holtz products. So, of course, I made a trip there. Um, I wandered around for a while. I was kind of disappointed. I picked up a couple things, but I didn't see anything new. And um, I was probably there for about 45 minutes, and I was just getting ready to leave. And this woman walked around the corner with a cart. And I saw dyes in it, and I asked her if um, she was going to be putting those out. And she said, are you interested in them? She says, you can go through the cart. So I got first pick of stuff before they put it out. And there was still stuff that I would have liked to have had, but I actually went over my budget a little bit. So I'll stop rambling and show you what I got. Um, again, sorry for the mess in the background. First thing I got were these, and I apologize for the glare. I haven't even taken them out yet. These embossing folders, um, it's A2 large notebook, and the top one is collage. So I got those. The next one, my favorite, Halloween. This was Halloween Night and Poison Set. So I hope you can see that one there, and I'll turn this one. I love anything that has to do with Halloween. Then I picked up this one. I thought this would be neat inked with black distress ink or even spiced marmalade. I thought that one was neat. Oh, I'm sorry, and that one was called Halloween Words and Cobweb Set. So then I moved on to the dies. And I picked up the mini lock and key set. These are the alterations dies. I'm really enjoying using these. I wasn't sure if I would like them or not, but I definitely do use them a lot. Um, the other one I got is called the mini cabinet card. Now this one was actually there and it's been there for a long time and I look at it every single time I go in and I'm like, I know I could use this for something. And I hem and haul because it looks like a tombstone to me. Well, I pulled up Pinterest because there was another die that I wanted. It was the mini broke one. And I was looking at ideas because of course on the spot I could think of nothing. And this one, is ex they used it for exactly that, a lot of um, tombstone uh, mini albums and things like that. So I thought this one I would get more use out of. So I got this one and I put the other one back. Then I picked up one more. I got the Townscape on the edge die. Now I've not used any of these yet, but I thought with this one um, I could use it to make the silhouettes in black so it kind of be a, like a haunted housescape or I could just use it as the houses as they are um, or even maybe little gingerbread houses who knows so I'm gonna get creative and try those out so that was pretty exciting um, I also picked up the reinforcers for 99 cents I thought these were really cute and I picked up the apothecary Rabans. Halloween. Love it. I also grabbed a pack of the gloss paper artist trading cards. I was really looking for the canvas ones. I had gotten one pack when I first saw these and I realized that that canvas is sticky back and it works fabulously for the bindings on those mini books that I'm making. Love it. So much better than the big sheets of canvas and trying to put adhesive on it with the Xyron. So if you have those at your Tuesday morning, grab them. I also picked up this little um, medium mixage die. 
I misplaced my little circles, spellbinders ones, so I thought I would pick that up and give it a try. I also picked up these We Are Memory Keeper 8x8 page protectors. They were clearance, 20% off. It wasn't anything great, but I figured, since I have that new Fuse tool, that for under a dollar, I could easily cut these up and make them into shakers. So that was my plan with those. Sorry for the shaking. Um, I was actually shaking up the Glimmer Mist. I picked up this color. It's The front is like a glitzy blue, but it's more of like a, a sea green, turquoise, little teal. I don't know. It looks really pretty, and I thought this would be great to use with those seahorse dyes that I got of Tim Holtz. And I thought this might be even easier than trying to blend the... Um, distress inks to get the color I want. So I thought I would try that. And then I just grabbed two of these clearanced Martha Stewart um, glitter eyelash trim in black and orange, again for Halloween, for um, the swap that I'm in. So those are all my goodies. So thanks so much for watching. If you have a Tuesday morning near you, run out and check out what they've got. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.